girl with more brown belts than I, I, I've even seen in stores. She's got every kind of preppy, upscale, chic, classic belt. You won't find any studs in this line, no studs. That belongs to Aria. Uh, one thing about Spencer is she's a huge vintage girl, and we also love like little animals and like her outfits. We're phasing that out a little bit, but it's still classic Spencer. So a great little vintage touch that she can always pull off. You can't go wrong with giraffes. This is because of my cat Harry. Um, just prints and Troy and the actors can pull off prints like nobody else, so she's easy to throw them on because they're gonna look good no matter what. Uh, this was actually uh, Kip lost it over this top, and it was one of the ones, uh, one of the last episodes of season four. And here you go, and you get all the jungle animals in one. Moving on to Hannah. Hannah has more, she couldn't be more girly, which to me that means accessories. And accessories. So, I mean, literally, every ring you can think of. You know, Anytime I'm going somewhere, I'm like, oh gosh, I gotta borrow a bracelet. I gotta remember to put it back. Uh, Hannah, we always say she's the one that pulls off all the bright colors. So she's got the feminine, she's got the flowers. She's got, uh, and she looks great in a form fitting dress too. This is one of our favorites from last season. Also, the Happy Ashley shirt. I knew this was gonna be a good one. And uh, one episode, Spencer borrowed it. And it was so funny because it couldn't have been less Spencer. She was like, oh, I had to borrow some of Ashley's clothes, or Hannah's clothes. So we made sure it was over the top and obnoxious. So color, if you find the color, it's going to be in Hannah's line. Uh, then we have Emily. Emily's a little bit more b-boy this season. She's got a little more thug. So she's the girl that, like, she's going to do a dress. She's going to do, like, a jersey dress. She always has, like, feminine and, like, tomboy. She does the perfect mix with the feminine tomboy. It's funny because you would think that... I would hear mostly about the fashion and other fans, the other girls. I hear so much about Emily going, I didn't know how to dress, I'm sporty, and I didn't know how to like glam it up, and this is like the perfect top. Plus, Shay Mitchell can like wear anything. I love this kind of like 80s throwback vintage shirt that I found. Put it over, it's a great little, you know, satin, again, 80s kind of jacket. Perfect. Fit Aria, um, I think I faced Aria after my childhood fantasy of a girl I was never allowed to be or didn't have the means to have all this. She, I think, her accessories weigh more than she does. Uh, I've got poor girl, I throw everything on her. If we can find... Well, I can show you one thing. Sometimes in scenes, she'll be talking to Ezra, it'll be like a very intimate scene, and her earrings will be going back and forth, and Marley will go, Mandy, so the earrings are a little much. So, she, you know, she's, she's got everything you can. I think the earrings are taller than she is, too. She can have her own jewelry blog, I think she might. Bracelets, again, more studs, more black. You know, she's got the heart, oh, more prints. And again, that translates to her wardrobe. She's the kind of girl that can throw everything on at once, and you're like, how did she do that so awesome? One of my favorite things and the kids freaked out for was this tie skirt. And, like, you know, she's not gonna do just any normal jacket, so she does uh, Vivian Westwood for rainbow or something, that's cool. She can tie in every color, every print, and she just pulls it off, I think, because Lucy herself just always in Oh, this is a good one too. This is my favorite. They were like in a funeral home <laughs> and she had a pastel leather jacket on. Why not? So, these are my girls' closets. 